Hello, welcome to Fox Sports Lab AFL Round 18. Chief, we've got to talk about it because all the punters want it. I'm seven in front now after a bizarre week of footy. <laughs> Mate, <laughs> just, don't crow about and, yourself. No one enjoys that. <laughs> I try and protect oh, the lead. Oh. And, and you go further in front. Stumbling across <laughs> to... <laughs> oh, at least I got my big call last week. Where were you? Yeah, uh, I was ducking and weaving on my big call, not even close. But stick around because our big calls are very similar and uh, put together, they're going to be a nice price. Let's go Friday night, Chief. Uh, Collingwood and Geelong. Collingwood in real trouble now outside the eight. Got mm, got pretty much smashed by Essendon. And then Geelong beat our Hawks. They're up to fifth now and uh, starting to fight back after their hot run of 7-0 and to start the season. So Friday night. Can Collingwood under lights get it done? How impressive were the Cats last week? The way they structured behind the footy, they didn't give the Hawks a chance to breathe. I thought it was really impressive. One of their best performances for quite some time. The Pies lose my check now, don't they? So they've got all sorts of problems, mate. I don't know what's happening there. I love them as a team. I love the way they play. But on form, I've just got to tip the Cats in this one. Yeah, I'm actually going uh, Collingwood in this one because... uh, Records are nothing, but uh, I know Geelong at the MCG and Collingwood. There's no logic to it. I'm just trying to kick away. Well, mate, given the way you throw darts at the dartboard, they always seem to hit a target, so, you know. Well, based on that, you say hit a target. uh, It's just a bizarre season. I mean, we go back to the uh, Giants and Carlton game last week, the 36-point swings, like uh, that's where we're at. All right, let's go into Hawthorne and Frio in Tasmania now. Oh, what about this? Uh, Hawthorne has won 10 of its last previously against Fremantle at Utah Stadium. Are you tipping your ball? Well, how good were the Dockers last week? They bounced back. I mean, all of a sudden, they are top four looking to lock it in. But I'm going for the Hawks down in Tassie. They were too bad to be true last week. Oh, I'm hoping that was just an anomaly and they'll bounce back. And it's too early for this season to be over. So they need a win to keep things alive. Yeah, I'm going to go uh, Fremantle because uh, they've won their last six against the Hawks. So I know the Utah Stadium um, is where it's at, and uh, the Hawks are pretty dominant there. But I'm just I'm looking for an upset. upset. So uh, when I yes. say upset, well, yes. I mean their favourites Fremantle. <laughs> I'm but, looking uh, for an upset. Look how good a tipper I am. Come on. <laughs> uh, let's go. Right, Western Bulldogs and Carlton. Carlton. Um, you're sticking with Carlton in this one because uh, they just fell away last week big time after a 39-point lead yeah, in the first quarter against it's the Giants. Concern. The Blues were terrible, but the Bulldogs were worse. Um, you know, I'm expecting both to bounce back. Aaron Norton gets injured again, so I just don't know what to make of the Bulldogs. Every time I start to get on board, they let me down. And then when I tip against them, they play their best footy and they might just do it again here, but I'll give the Blues another chance. Yeah, I'm going with the Blues as well. Um, they've won their last four matches after a loss, so uh, haven't had many this season after a pretty big, uh, uh, pretty big run last week. It came to an end after five straight wins. But uh, Melbourne and Essendon, this is where Melbourne, no Gorn, no Petrarca, no hope in my eyes. Uh, Essendon with this one here, and they're absolutely flying at the moment. So Scotty's got yeah, the Yeah, another cruising. tough one for me, the Bombers, every time I tip them. Uh, like I did against, uh, who was it, Collingwood a couple of weeks ago? Or was it Collingwood that I tipped and Essendon beat them? I just can't. They're one of the teams I can't get hold of, Diego. Whatever I do with Essendon is normally wrong. I don't like the Ds. I don't really like the way they're playing. I, um, they had some uh, some really good moments at different stages over the last month, but not enough to consistently get me to tip them. I will go with Essendon and hope that they can salute for me. Well, just on that quickly, I'm going Essen as well. So Melbourne four to tenth. Are you uh, putting a line through their finals chances now? This part of the season, the way the season's been, no. Because as you said before, we've seen ridiculous results, mate. But I don't. They, look, even if they even if they fall into the eight, they're not going to do any damage. Put it that way. All right, we're going Suns and Port. Uh, this is such Big an game. interesting game. So. At, at home, eight and zero. Away, zero and eight. So it's just I, I, I just can't believe what they dish out. But tell me the record so tell me the record between these two teams though. So Port has won uh, the last fourteen matches uh, against many? Gold Coast, including Norway. How many? Norm away. 
14 in a row. In a row. Well, it shows you where my tipping's at because I'm going for Gold Coast. They've lost 14 <laughs> in a row to Port, and I'm tipping them based on the home record. They were woeful last week. And Dimmer gave them yep. a decent old spray, uh, and that press conference was gold. He just launched. So if they don't respond this time, mate, I, I shudder to think what he might say post-game. Um, one of these great records is going to get beaten. The Suns are 8-0 at home this year, undefeated. Uh, but as you said, Port have won their last 14. So one streak's got to come to an end. I'm tipping the Suns at home, hoping that you're sticking with Port from last week. Oh, I'm definitely sticking with Port because um, I mentioned their record at Adelaide Oval during the day. It's 23 of 25. So, I mean, when you got your bunny, you got your bunny. So Gold Coast are their bunny and they're going to cause the uh, first upset at home for the Gold Coast Suns. And Ben King, three-plus goals. If you're looking for a goal scorer on market, he's done that in his last four, seven home games. Um, let's go through the tips really quick, Chief. The uh, Swannies and Roos. Swans, yeah. Mind you, their last fortnight has been poor as well. So, tips does nightmare. <laughs> I've got what too. Crows, Saints. Crows in Adelaide. But that game could go either way. Same. Crows. Tigers, Giants. 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 Eagles and Lions. Mm. Well, there is the hoodoo of the sax coach to go. And for whatever reason, it seems to make a difference. So many teams have caused upsets after sack their coach. But I've got to go with Brisbane in this one. I'm going with the uh, stat on the sack coach, so I'll go with the oh, Eagles in this one just to win. Oh, I'm worried about it, let me tell you. <laughs> Big Perth crowd just going berserk. Uh, time to uh, dish up our big calls. Now, I'm going uh, Port 1 to 24, $3.80. So, not only do I think they'll win, it's going to be a tight, tight game, but uh, their record over the Suns, 380 for my big well, call. I'm a similar sort of scenario, mate. The Hawks down in Tassie, 1 to 24 over Freo. I think that's um, 340 or so. So, that gets us into double figures to go if we put those two together, and we're due to salute another big call multi. Yep, that's where we're at. We'll, we'll just dish it up. Chief, thanks very much. Uh, look forward to next week, Round 19 preview, but uh, yeah, enjoy your weekend. Yeah, your lack of animation's been great this morning. <laughs> Line it up, boy. What's gambling really costing you? For free and confidential support, call the number on the screen or visit the website.